All right, sorry about the sound in here. Uh, the bathroom's terrible and this lav mic is garbage. And I wasn't really planning on making this tonight, uh, but I just got back from no gi practice and uh, did open mat, open rolls, and I screwed up. I, uh, I was doing a, an arm triangle and I felt a little bit of tingle in this here here and kind of ignored it and kept rolling. Uh, and then later my training partner went for a guillotine and just bam, I felt my ear just pop. I mean, it was loud, just a super loud pop. And I instantly knew like I screwed up and I had a fresh batch of cauliflower ear to drain. I don't know how well you can see this, but it's the uh, this, this nice soft inside part. Um, I haven't drained it there before. Uh, but draining cauliflower ear before, which I, I've had in this ear, I of course did online video research looked around and all i could find were basically like oh yeah take this syringe stab it in your ear and suck and there, there's definitely some pointers <laughs> that nobody seems to be passing out um so so i'm gonna go ahead and uh pass out kind of the the pointers i found out uh the hard way draining my ears uh the first first let's go over what you're gonna need um of course, you're gonna need syringes. Uh, they're cheap. Uh, don't reuse your syringes. Um, that's gross and and risky. Um, I mean, they're like twenty cents a piece at your pharmacy. Um, I, through trial and error, settled on like a twenty-two gauge needle. Um, I found the thinner ones. Like I couldn't feel them, and like one time I actually just with no pain just went right through my ear. So 22 is a little bigger and it's easier to get the stuff out when it's kind of thick. Um, but it's not as huge as you, as some of them. Um, you should get yourself a sharps container. These are for syringe disposal, still syringes for last time I had cauliflower ear, which, oh God, would have been last fall. Um, so, so it's been a while. Uh, this is now, August, so almost coming up on fall, almost a year. But these are free at the pharmacy where you get your syringes and um, you just bring them back to the pharmacy and they dispose of them for you. But you don't wanna be taking taking syringes and just tossing them in the garbage. Um, and then you should get yourself some iodine and or you know rubbing alcohol. So uh, we're gonna sterilize that area first, especially you've been rolling a bunch and sweating. You don't wanna just be jab in your ear full of stuff. Um, so that's what we're gonna need. Um, and once you have everything you're gonna need, uh, then then it's time to go ahead and stab it and drain it. So let, let's go over that now. All right, part two. Uh, we're gonna take the rubbing alcohol, we're gonna clean our ear up. Um, can't stress enough how important it is to actually sterilize the, the area you're gonna be stabbing yourself in. Um, for me, it's this inside part of my ear. It's really weird. I didn't expect this, but I guess I have seen it before. So we've got that all cleaned up. I'm gonna take our syringe, and there's a mirror right here so I can see what I'm doing. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but take your syringe out of the package. It's gonna have a protective cap on it. Um, you can ignore that for now. Big thing nobody told me is a syringe is stuck in place. Uh, it's what's called stiction, and it's just been in place so long that there's it, it's it's stuck. There's so much friction, it's stuck. Um, once you break that initial stiction, and it pops loose, then there's just the regular friction of the syringe and and the suction. Um, so you want to break that free first. There's nothing really much worse than being stuck in your ear and then you can't get the syringe to draw. Um, from there, and take that protective cap off. Keep it somewhat handy, we're gonna need it. Um, and I'm gonna take the syringe here. I'm gonna, I don't know if you can, how well you'll be able to see this or focus on it. Maybe if I pop out a frame. Nope, okay. So the syringe has a bevel to it and I'm gonna, run the long side alongside my face so I can use my face kind of as a guide, keep keep myself stable. 
Um, it looks like it's way closer to my face on camera than it is. Uh, so I'm gonna keep it stable alongside my face. Um, and I'm gonna go in slowly because they're super sharp when you've, when you've not used them. And because it's super sharp, I can go in nice and slow and it, it won't cause as much damage as if I just jam it in there. Because we might have to drain this a bunch of times in order to, uh, in order to get everything out. And then when I'm in there and I've got it mostly drained, I'm gonna then kind of squeeze around the area and you'll see more come into the syringe just to make sure I get it all. No one seems to mention that either. That was really frustrating when I, when I was first trying to figure this out. So I haven't drained this part of my ear yet. Let's, uh, let's figure out if I can do this in a less than miserable fashion. Oh man, that is, that is nice and fat and swollen. That sucks. Oh, I forgot how much I hate this. Okay, there's the initial pop. Pushing through initially kind of sucks, but you just got to kind of deal with it. And I'm trying not to get into the cartilage too. That's the thing. Okay, and you can check and see if you're all the way in by trying to draw on the syringe. If you can't draw on it, it's stuck, it's, it's at the skin level, which we're still at. Put a little pressure on it and it'll slide in a little more. Okay, we're still in the skin. Oh, and I just felt it go through. So you'll feel it break free. And we'll draw on the syringe. And you'll see the ear actually start to kind of suck down a little bit. And this in this spot might be kind of hard to to squeeze around, but try to get all the excess fluid out. We want as much out as possible because the flatter the ear sits, mm, the better. Getting a little more out. Mm. So I don't know if you can see that. At least now you can. So that was just out of this little, not this, this is all hard, out of that little pocket right there. That wasn't very fun, but it honestly wasn't too terribly bad. And now I can, sorry about that, now I can cap it up, toss it into a sharps container, and we're done. That wasn't fun, but like I say, it didn't really suck that bad. I'm just not stoked that I have to do it another 40 freaking times till this batch of cauliflower ear is done. But I guess <laughs> that's the price we pay a little bit for, uh, like I say, I should have defended myself better and that wouldn't have happened. Totally my fault. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this clip right in, uh, right after the other one. This is now 24 hours later. It'll be the third time I've had to drain this. I had to, I had to drain it first thing in the morning too. Just pff, swelled right back up just as full. Uh, now it's considerably less full. Uh, and I, I hate draining them when it's like this, when it's not really full, because sometimes it, it's hard to drain them 
and seem seem useful. But you gotta keep you gotta keep it drained if you want it to want it to heal back as small as possible. I don't mind the bit of cauliflower ear, but I don't want you know just tremendous cauliflower ear. So paper towel with with the rubbing alcohol once again. A syringe, you know, make sure make sure it's free, it's not stuck. Um, I, I don't like doing this. I'm gonna try to get you in a little closer now too, because this is this is the less fun one. Um, I won't know if you can hear me all right till the end. I'm gonna try to go in at a little different angle than I've been able to, in hopes that I have a little more success. Um, and this one I can't see really, really well on this one either. Keep some consistent pressure on it. Try not to go too deep because, like I say, it's there's not a lot of fluid left in there. Okay, in. Mm. And that sucked down considerably flatter in there. Um, got as much out, it sucked tight. I knew I wasn't going to be able to squeeze any more out, and the syringe just sucked itself out on its own, so I knew it really squeezed down tight. I could feel it pushing against the cartilage in there. Don't do that. Don't do that. That's a good way to stick yourself in the toe. But so yeah, you're gonna have to drain it quite a few times, but you'll see that that's a lot less than that first time. And keeping it nice and flat before bed, once again, hopefully even less in the morning. And we won't have to do this for weeks and weeks. I wish I knew where my magnets were. Um, and then, and then headgear man uh, it makes me feel claustrophobic when I roll but today I had to roll with headgear it got the job done um, it sucks but if you don't want it to just keep getting worse and worse and spreading and spreading you're gonna have to do the headgear it's it's kind of part of it um, there's a reason there's a reason it exists and they keep using it because it works but make sure it fits really well it stays on it doesn't just wrench on your ears um, and and yeah, wear your headgear till till basically till your ear isn't sore anymore, and then hopefully you will only have to drain it a few times, um, and less and less and less uh, is a good thing. So now we're gonna return to the regularly scheduled programming. If you end up having to do this, uh, like I say, just break that seal on the syringe first, you know that stiction, and make sure you squeeze around the needle while it's in your ear. Oh, man, it makes it makes a world of difference. And uh, you can take some magnets and keep everything sandwiched down once it's drained. Uh, really helps. Um, I have to find mine. I don't know where they're at. Um, anyway, hope you're uh, having fun with jujitsu or you know wrestling, whatever gave you your cauliflower ear. Um, and hope it doesn't stop you because um, it's just it's just a small bump in the road. We can keep going. Oh yeah. Be sure to uh, like, favorite, subscribe, uh, click that little bell um, down there at the bottom, that little bell, that, that's going to make sure you get all the frequent uploads, um, as frequent as I can make them, uh, spending a lot of time in the gym these days, and uh, it's going to make sure you get all, all, all the videos sent right to you as a notification so you don't miss any of them, because uh, that wouldn't be any fun.